All right, man, it's your boy Interest, man. Hit like already. Hit, go ahead, hit the like button, man. We're going to talk about downplaying. All right, let's get right into it because I can't stand this shit right here. Downplaying, downplaying ass comments, devaluing ass comments, minimizing ass comments when, you know, people try to make things seem less valuable, less important than what they really are uh, through malicious intent, through hating ass shit, through, through jealousy, through envy. Yeah, through all that, man. And sometimes people do it unknowingly because they just don't share the same passion or interest as the other person. But people try to downplay people and downplay things, man. Because either they don't understand it or they just some hating ass motherfuckers. So we're going to talk about downplaying right here in this video, all right? So, so downplaying, and I took notes on this shit, all right? Downplaying is trying to make something or someone seem not as important through slick, low-key, passive-aggressive statements or comments. Yeah, man. That's what Google told me when I typed in downplay. It said it's when, you know, people try to make something or someone seem not as important through slick ass, low key, bullshit ass, passive aggressive, fuck ass statements and bullshit ass comments. Yeah, man. I was like, all right, damn, Google, Google, Google gave it to me direct and blunt. You know what I'm saying? So straight up, that's downplaying. So another, another word for downplaying is devalue and to minimize. So to make something seem smaller than what it is or to bring something down smaller than what it was, you know, and that's people's pretty much that's people's goal and intent when they try to downplay, devalue you and, to, and when they try to minimize you, they try to make things smaller and less significant than what they are. You know, so people downplay unknowingly out of envy or people downplay unknowingly or out of envy, hating as jealousy. That's another thing Google told me. They said. Motherfuckers downplay unknowingly and out of envy and hating ass jealousy. And that, that's what it is, man. A lot of times they just hating on your ass. You know, you might have been passionate about something, passionate about a goal, a dream, a hobby. And somebody, you know, a family member, anybody, a friend, a so-called friend, uh, snake in the grass ass motherfucker in your circle might have just tried to downplay you all the time. Trying to make things seem not as important. Oh, why would you like this? Why would you like that? Just trying to make you seem like... You're crazy for liking something or, you know, it's not all that. It ain't all that. You know what I'm saying? But meanwhile, this thing is your your very life inside your head. This is all you daydream and fantasize about. This is all you want to do, all you want to be. But they want to downplay you. And it, I just can't stand. I got to talk about this is a serious topic, bro. This is a serious topic because I, I just can't stand downplaying. I've had to deal with this throughout my life when I was a kid. These fuck ass motherfuckers want to downplay. And I, and I, can't, I don't want to see other people being downplayed and not know what the fuck going on. And thinking it's cool, man. It's not cool. You like something, you got every right to like it. You passionate about something, you want to go for something, you got every right to go for that. Don't let nobody shoot your shit down, shoot your dreams down, shoot your your uh interest and passions down. Do they hating that hating that shit just because they ain't got no talent? They ain't got nothing going on for them. You know they Cheeto Cheeto finger filled chrome ass fingers and shit. You know sitting on the couch all day drinking alcohol. With a fucking Homer Simpson ass stomach. No, they want to try to downplay what you got going on. Because they ain't, they ain't amount to shit in life. You know what I'm saying? I can't stand that shit. So we're going to keep going into this shit. All right. Hit the like button, bro. So people will downplay your look, your style, your interest, your hobbies and passions and achievements. Those are some of the things that people will try to downplay. Those are some of the main things people will try to devalue and to minimize. Your looks, your style, your interests, your hobbies, your passions, and achievements. They will downplay you look, how you look, how you style, how you dress yourself, how you carry yourself, your demeanor, um, your interests, like I said earlier, your hobbies and passions, things you like to do, things that bring you a sense of meaning, joy, and, and excitement, happiness, and they will downplay your achievements. Even things that you go out and achieve and acquire, they would downplay that. Oh, yeah, that, you know, that's a, that ain't all that, man. All right, yeah, whatever, you know what I'm saying? They cut the conversation short and change the subject while you was, you know, excited to tell them about something that you did or something that you accomplished. They want to downplay it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, these are some ain't got nothing to do with their life hating ass motherfuckers, man. They ain't got shit going on. So the minute you want to, you know, minute you got something going on, you know, you achieving shit or you trying to do things, they want to shoot it down. You know, what they know with talent having ass. So, all right. So, anything that makes you feel some sense of worth and special meaning, they will downplay. So, I pretty much already said that. Anything that makes you feel 
some sense of worth and special meaning, these motherfuckers will try to downplay and they will try to devalue that, all right? Yeah, they see it makes you happy. They see it puts you into another element. It puts you into a, a zone. And they don't want to see that, man. Like I talked about in my other videos, man. Some people don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you feeling great about something. You know, and it could have, and it also could be a spiritual thing. You got certain spirit, spirits, they act out these, these, uh, these operations through physical people around you. To keep you down on a lower level, a low vibrational level, a low vibrational thinking and opinion about yourself. They want you to remain in that state of mind. They want you to have a low vibrational uh, opinion about yourself, man. You know, they want you to have low self-esteem. So the minute you feel like, oh, you know, you climbing up out of that gutter, you know, you're getting up out of that, that dark hole with something that you're passionate about, boom, somebody going to say some downplaying that shit. You see what I'm saying? So this is real shit, bro. Like I said, this is a serious topic. All right. Um, let's see. For So I just wrote an example. Let's say in a split child custody, um, you know, when children do visitations where they might stay with the mom, go visit the dad or vice versa. In those kind of situations, one of the parents will downplay the other parent's love for the child so that the child can have a certain perception of the other parent. Some parents do this, man. Some parents will, let's say a mom might tell her, they, they son, Oh, no, your dad don't, you know, your dad don't even care for you. You know, this and that. That's why he this and that, blah, blah, blah. Whole time, that might not even be true, man. That dad might have ex, ex, uh, extreme love for their child, extreme love for their son or daughter. They might not know behind the scenes. Maybe the mom was making sure the dad had no access to the child. So now, now, now that the child is stuck with the mom, the mom can feed all this stuff into the child's head. You know, downplaying the other parent's love for the child putting all these things and beliefs into the kid's head and now the kid gonna grow up and run with that shit and may never know the truth and it can go the other way around you know you know but i think uh, i think the the first example i gave is the more common example of what goes on but that's just an example of downplaying you know um all right people that could downplay you a list of people that could downplay you parents yep your goddamn parent, even your parents, your mom, your dad, you know, they could downplay you straight up. Some of y'all know this. Some of y'all may have came to your parents about something as a kid and they just shot it down. Oh, no, nah, just focus on school or this and that. Or, you know, you're going to waste your time doing that, blah, 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 you know. And it might have been giving you some reality of life, you know, like maybe you shouldn't just only focus on that. But some parents really just be on some downplaying that shit. They don't even want to take the time to see why you're interested into what you're interested you're interested into they don't want to see why you're excited about your hobby or what you're doing or what you present to them they just want to shoot it down oh no i know what i'm saying you know i'm busy right now go to your room blah 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 you know did you do your homework blah 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 you know what i'm saying downplaying minimizing devaluing siblings your own brothers sisters this is probably one of the biggest ones too if you especially if you grew up in a household full of siblings you know you kind of like was outcast, kind of stood out. You know, you had some things you were talented in and things you were very uh, excited about and passionate about. Your own siblings, you know, that's your sibling's job, especially if you're like an older sibling. But even if you're a younger sibling, I'm just, I've always been the older one. But, you know, they, they're not going to understand what you're doing. You know, they're going to shoot it down. They're going to say little slick ass jokes and stuff. And, like, yeah, you know, uh, you know they're just not going to be into what you're into like you are. So they're going to naturally downplay what you're doing. Make a joke out of it, a mockery out of it, shit like that. So some of y'all probably can relate to that, being downplayed, you know, your siblings downplaying you. So parents, siblings, your friends, your friends, you know, because real friends don't downplay. Even if you don't understand why somebody excited about something, why they passionate about something, you know, you shouldn't go out your way to judge it and downplay it. I know people judge what they don't understand, but a real friend is going to be like, okay, they're going to take the time to see why their friend is interested into that, or at least support it. If you don't understand it, if you don't know anything about, you know, they feel of what they're passionate about, at least just support it, man. Just hear them out. Support it, you know, see what you can do to help out. Don't downplay it. Shoot it down. Say, oh, you know, it's, you know, don't focus on that, man. Or oh, that's not all that, man. Or oh, blah, blah, blah. That's not a real friend, bro. That's a snake in the grass. That's a snake in the grass ass, bitch ass motherfucker, man. Like I said, I can't stand downplaying that shit. I'm going in on this video. Like the video, bro downplaying it's on fake ass hating that shit and i can't stand that shit 
So your parents, your siblings, your friends, friends, acquaintances, you know, they irrelevant anyway. They just they just acquaintances. You shouldn't even pay attention to the ass. But anyways, and um, even your children, bro. I don't have kids. I don't have children. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm 28 by the way, but I don't have no kids. And I don't, I don't know if I want kids, but that's another topic. But um, yo, children, if you got children, they can downplay your stuff. <clears throat> you might just be programmed and brainwashed and conditioned to just be a parent, a stay-at-home mom, or you know, just this hardworking dad who just you know and that's you're doing the right thing man you're doing the right thing you're providing for your kids but it might be some things you was always passionate about it's some things you might want to do on the side you know you might want to start a business or something man but you just conditioned by society or whatever just to be this parent or whatever and you, you and you could be a parent you could be a loving parent a hard-working parent and provide for your kids and your family but that don't that don't mean you got to drop your dreams and your goals yeah man and, and in some cases your kids your own kids your children could downplay what you're passionate about, you know, and a lot of parents give up on their on their dreams behind that. And they just feel like, yeah, I'm just, you know, it's no no point in doing that, man. It's a waste of time, man. I just just settle for being a a parent, man. You know, <clears throat> you always gonna be a parent no matter what, unconditionally, man. You always gonna have unconditional love. That don't mean you gotta shut down what you wanna do in life. You know what I'm saying? You only live one life, man. Come on, bro. So all right, so those are the list of people that could downplay you. All right. Uh, teammates, coaches. If you if you play sports, they could downplay you. You're going hard in practice. Your coach still trying to make it seem like you ain't really doing nothing. You ain't knocking shit out or this and that. They downplaying you, man. You know they're not telling you what you're really worth. They're trying to devalue you. They're trying to minimize your efforts. You know and your achievements and your progress. That's downplaying. You know, um, teachers, man. Teachers could downplay you. Teachers can downplay your intelligence, man. Don't let them do that, bro. They're minimizing your potential. And I might shut down your dream, you know, because you'll never understand how great your potential is. But you going off base, you, you're defining yourself based off what people telling you. You know, you're defining yourself based off of people's opinions of you. But a lot of the times, their opinions of you and stuff they're telling you, they're really trying to devalue you and keep you from your, your great potential that you got. You know? So, your special others companions could down downplay you as well you know whether it be your husband a wife uh your boyfriend a girlfriend yeah they could downplay you as well man probably a lot of times just because they want your full attention they see oh you're getting interested and passionate about something and they see you getting all excited and they feel like that might that might take your attention away from them so they'll try to downplay that shit they'll shoot that shit down real quick oh yeah you know what i'm saying they see that interest that you that you're that you're getting with that hobby or whatever it is that you're doing, that that gift, that passion, that talent that you got, they want to shoot that shit down real quick because they know, like, man, you know, some people get jealous, man. They don't want that attention diverting towards something else. They want to keep all your attention, so they'll downplay that. They'll downplay you off of that, man. You know, make you feel like, man, come on, that shit ain't worth it, man. You just, just focus on me type shit. So, yeah, your special companion, your special, your significant other, they could downplay you as well. You might not even know what they're doing. All right. Some people annoyingly downplay your dreams because they simply don't share the same interests. And I think I've already said this. I'm going to repeat that. Some people unknowingly downplay your dreams because they simply don't share your same interests. All right. What they don't understand, they just are going to judge. They're going to attack. Or they're just going to ignore it. Like I said earlier, you present something to somebody um, and they're just like, yeah, all right, they kind of brush it off or whatever. And you fight them. You, you don't really have nobody to get validation from, you know, because, you know, you, you share this new you share this new passion about something. You want to tell somebody excited about it. You're adamant about it. But nobody in your, your close circle, your family or whatever, your friends, they just don't understand it, man. So you're going to feel like, man, it's, it's not all that then, blah, blah, blah. You're just going to cave in, you know, you're being downplayed unknowingly, man. And like I said, a lot of, the, a lot of, the, sometimes they're not, they're not trying to downplay you out of hatred. Like I said, they just don't share the same interest as you. So they won't understand it. You know, that's why you gotta, you gotta, um, get with people that share the same interest as you. Okay. All right. So. Like I said earlier, they will downplay you simply just because they don't want to see you happy. 
Some people genuinely just don't want to see you happy. Maybe you're a person who was always miserable or maybe they just always saw you as inferior. Maybe you always felt less than because of how people treated you. And now you've obtained something that might bring you to a higher level, a greater level of importance and value. And once you start getting into that, the, the things around you, the people around you, you know, they might start to see that and be like, no, nah, we got to shoot this brother back down. We got to shoot this sister back down. Like, oh, no, nah, man, this, this person might make something out of themselves with this. So they'll try to downplay you off of that. They want you to keep acting like and feeling like this inferior person they always treated you as. And they feel like this thing that, you know, that you're getting into might make you superior. You know, some people don't want to see that. Some people genuinely do not want to see you happy. So that's why they'll downplay your ass. All right. They downplay you as well because they don't want others to see the potential in you. It's not just them hating on you. They don't want to see they don't want other people to see the potential that you got. Maybe because they're jealous. They're envious. You know, they like they, they with, with their non-talented ass, whatever it is. With with they no gift having ass. You know? They're like, oh man, you know, they, they see the potential that you got. They see that you're so excited about this thing. And they, they're scared that others are gonna see it. They don't want you getting all that attention. You know, they don't want you getting that that praise and approval. So they're they're, they're trying to hurt and downplay you behind closed doors, you know, behind the scenes. So they can shut it down before you bring it out to the world. Yeah, you got people that really do that. That's an agenda, bro. That's an agenda that people have. They want to shut it down, you know, in silence and, you know, to your face behind closed doors, you know, one-on-one -on -one before you try to bring it out. They try to devalue it so you don't be as expressive to want to bring it out to the world. Yeah, they downplaying you, bro. They hating. Um, These people that downplay you and these people that downplay things and people they never took anything serious in life you know some of these people are just clowns you know everything is a joke to them it's just everything's been a joke you know they're just some some straight goofs man straight goofs clowns man you know so whatever you present to them they'll make a mockery out of it or a joke out of it you know what i'm saying they'll make a joke about it or out of it so these people are just straight clowns they just never took nothing serious everything's funny to them you definitely don't want to take anything to these people don't bring anything to these people don't present nothing if you're excited about something you're passionate about something you know you got a question about something you know because you, you, you're building interest into it and you feel like you can make something out of yourself through this thing don't bring this to people that you know are just straight clowns bro you know these people in your life they just always laughing that you know they, they just joke about everything they always got something negative to say about everything don't 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 present any please don't please please come on man don't present nothing to these goof these clown ass motherfuckers bro clown ass hoes these clown ass niggas don't present nothing to these motherfuckers man they straight clowns they they clown emoji face ass having ass niggas man when you look at them you see the clown face emoji they clowns bro they they, they think everything is a joke so if you take something to them that you're serious about they're gonna make a joke out of it it's common sense. Why would you take something that you find a lot of value and importance in to these motherfuckers? They're going to devalue it, man, through jokes and through these passive aggressive ass little slick comments. Come on, man. Don't take nothing to these people. They're straight clowns, bro. Now, other people that downplay you, um, they're just jealous. They don't have a passion or they don't have a talent for something the way that you do. Because like I said, you know, they see that you're gifted. They see that you got potential. And these probably just people that never had anything going for themselves. They just never knew how to take anything serious. They've always been a follower. So they kind of see you standing out. They see you serious about something. They don't know how it feels to be serious and zoned in and fixated on something. So it irks them. You know, they don't like that, man. They, they spaz emotionally seeing that you're getting into something and you're taking it serious. They don't, they don't know how that feels. So they're going to try to shoot you down and, and downplay it. Don't, don't do that, man. You know, you want to avoid them things that I just went over. Avoid avoid them kind of people, man. All right, so typically downplaying comes from people who are talentless or have jack shit going on. So I, I pretty much just said that. So typically downplaying comes from people who are talentless or they don't have jack shit going on. They have nothing going on for themselves, man. Because people that hate and are jealous and this and that, you know, people that just hate and got 
just something negative to say and, and that just talks shit about people all the time. A lot of the times, these people are just non-productive people in society. They're, they're just non-productive people. They got nothing going on. Nothing. And I ain't saying you got to be a fucking president, a manager of a corporate business or something. You know, everybody ain't going to be that. But you at least want to be just passionate about something in your life. Be productive about something. Even if it's just for your personal self-gratification. But these people that downplay people, they got they don't even have that. They don't even have nothing that brings satisfaction to themselves. So what do you think they're going to do if you're around them and they see that you're passionate about something? They don't even know how to approach that. They don't even, they don't even know what to do with it. They fumble. They don't even know how to hold that shit. They just, they're going to say some negative ass shit. Oh, what is that? Oh, you're drawing something? Oh, okay. <laughs> what, 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 what kind of stupid shit are you drawing now? Oh, why are you always doing this? So why are you always, they don't know how, they, they take everything as a joke. They don't know how to take anything serious. All right. Many dreams have been shut down because of excessive downplaying. Downplaying causes demotivation, low self-esteem, confusion, and it will make a person give little to no effort in what they were passionate about because somebody is downplaying them. So yeah, man, downplaying can cause demotivation. It can make a person not be as motivated into what they were motivated about because now somebody downplayed it. And now you're just like, yeah, well, maybe they're right. Maybe it's not that serious. Or maybe I shouldn't try to be this. Or maybe I shouldn't try to do this. You know, maybe I shouldn't be as passionate about this and just focus on this over here because so-and-so said this and so-and-so said and did that. You know, they're going to demotivate you. You're going to lose your motivation for what, you know, you were passionate about because you hang around these down playing ass motherfuckers. Come on, man. It causes low self-esteem because... This thing that you were excited about, this thing that makes that makes you important and valuable, you know, that brings a sense of worth to you, it gives you, it naturally gives you a, a, a dopamine rush. It gives you a great sense of feeling and meaning in life. And you might be a person that need that. You might have always had low self-esteem, and now this thing, this new profound, this new profound excitement that you got in your life will build your self-esteem, man. And that's good for your mental health. Your mental health is very important, bro. So if they downplay that, if they take that away from you, if they strip that away, just little by little and start to minimize it, your, your self-esteem is going to go, gonna go down with it. If you found high self-esteem through that very thing, if it gets taken away, what do you think is going to happen to your self-esteem? Your self-esteem is going to get stripped away as well. You know what I'm saying? So stop hanging around downplaying ass motherfuckers, bro. Stop playing, bro. Uh, downplaying causes confusion. You know, it can make a person confused. Now, maybe you felt this was the way. You felt this was the path to take. And now somebody want to downplay it. So now you're confused about what you want to do in life. You know? And it will make you give little to no effort to that very thing. And like I said, you're being demotivated now. You know, you don't have the same the same, the same amount of motivation for it anymore. So you're, just, you're not going to be as, you know, expressive about it. Um, You're just not going to give much effort to it anymore. To the point to where it's going to hit rock bottom, man. It's going to be gone. You know, like I said, a lot of dreams have been shut down behind that through excessive downplaying. All right. So you want to stay away from these people that downplay you. Um, I pretty much gave a, a good list of people and examples. If you feel like you're going through that in your life, bro, or a woman, you need to go ahead and get away from these people, man. And if you can't, bro, you're going to have to stand up and confront, to, confront these clown ass motherfuckers. Like, look, man, I like what I like. I'm passionate about this. And this is what the fuck I'm going to do. Tell them motherfuckers to get the fuck out my face. Tell them to get the fuck out your face, man. Because they're going to shut your dream down, man. You only live one life. Don't let these people downplay your dreams. What the fuck you got going on, bro? I just, I can't stand downplaying, bro. I can't stand it, bro. I can't stand it. Because I, I just see right now in the world somewhere where there's an older brother downplaying a little brother's passion about something. Or whether there's a parent downplaying their kid, you know, what they got going on or anything, bro. I just can't stand that. And they and that person, are, are they're unaware of it. And they're going to fall into that trap, you know. And their dreams are going to be shut down, bro. A lot of people went to their grave just having not accomplished anything in life because they let somebody downplay them. And I'm not, and I can't even blame them because a lot of times they don't even know they're being downplayed. They think this person... That they're confiding in 
is being genuine and they feel like they can trust that person. But the whole time, this person has a certain agenda, man, to shut them down, you know? And this could also be a spiritual attack as well, a spiritual assignment. So you got to stay away from these people, man. You got to stay away from them. I wish somebody would try to downplay, uh, downplay me in my face. Back then, you know, I didn't really have a backbone or whatever. And even back then, I was kind of like assertive, but I wasn't that assertive. I knew what I liked. My thing was I, my own self-motivation that I struggled with. Fuck what everybody else was saying. I knew what I liked to do. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to shut shit down what I got going on. If it was shut down, it was all because my own mental issues and my own perception of myself and things that I had to deal with within myself. But I wish somebody would try to downplay, downplay me to my face now. Nah, I wish to God, I wish to God they would, bro. I wish you would, bro. Don't let nobody downplay your shit, bro. Come on, man. So I give some quick examples of downplaying, and we're gonna get the fuck up out of here, bro. I like the video. So, example of downplaying. Alright. The job I do is hard. You know, I brush dirt and shit all day and shovel and whatever. Before I started this job. Not too many people wanted to stay and do what I was doing. I came on to this warehouse job as a cleaner and stuff. And I missed a, a day or two uh, last week. I ain't gonna lie. So I came in today or uh, yesterday on Monday. And the boss said something like, what happened last week, man? Um, I said, you know, some things came up, you know, this and that. You know, but I'm ready. I'm coming back ready to work or whatever. And mind you, I'm only getting paid $15 an hour. I don't take this job serious. I spoke on this in my other videos. And he said, like, oh, all you're doing is pushing the broom all day, man. If you can't do that, we're going to have to find somebody else, blah, blah, blah. I'm in my head. I already think. Y'all already know how I feel about this shit. Like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about this damn job, bro. It's, this shit ain't worth no $15 a goddamn hour. Come on, man. Come on, man. So it is what it is. I'm standing there like, all right, whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? When I went ahead and started putting my mask on and stuff and glasses and all that shit because all this job is dirty. Got dust particles and shit flying in us. So. I went ready to go work. Do that dumb, dumb ass pushing the broom, as he says. Nah, it's more than just pushing the broom. I'm doing a lot of shit, bro. But he tried to downplay my what I, my my work task and what I gotta do. Or oh, all you're doing is pushing the broom. He trying to now why why couldn't y'all keep nobody before? Why how come when I stepped on this job there was a bunch of shit back there from like months of build up? Obviously y'all couldn't keep nobody back there to just push the broom. That's downplaying. He trying to downplay what I'm doing. That's downplaying, man. And I, I just let him say it, whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? But when he said that, I took a mental note. Like, boom, that's downplaying. I'm, I'm going to make sure I include that in my video that I'm about to make. Nigga just downplayed me to my face. All, all I'm doing is pushing the broom. Come on, bro. Y'all seen? I just show y'all in a little bit of the video that I made some of the work I'm doing, man. I'm shoveling shit. That shit is, that's some physically demanding work. And I'll do it. I ain't, you know, ain't going to whine about it. But you ain't about to downplay it. And, I, you know, $15 an hour for damn show, that shit ain't worth no $15 an hour. It is what it is, bro. I could walk out this bitch right now. Life goes on. Well. So, another example of downplaying. It's just a stupid little guitar. Let's say somebody, you know, playing guitar. They picking up the guitar. They, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? They playing the guitar. And they brother or sister comes along. Why are you always playing that stupid little guitar? Like, that's downplaying, bro. You, you, you're taking the value out of what that really is. That holds a lot of value to that person. And you're trying to minimize that value, you know, by saying, oh, it's just a little guitar. Like, that, that guitar may mean everything to that person. That person might get bullied in school. He might got no friends. That guitar might be his only the only friend he got. You know what I'm saying? You're going to try to devalue that? Or oh, that's just a stupid little guitar. That that guitar, that little guitar might take this person all across the world one day. Is it going to be a stupid little guitar then? That's downplaying, bro. That's some hating ass shit. Stop downplaying, motherfuckers. Bitch ass nigga. Yeah, I said it. Say it to your face. You downplaying ass motherfuckers watching this video. Fuck you. Another example. Your artwork is all right. It's all right. Nothing special. Somebody passionate about drawing. Uh, you know, sketching out pictures and stuff. I draw myself. You know, I'm an artist myself. You know, I could draw anything I can see. I'm a visual artist. You know, so you might ask somebody to say, "Oh, that's all right." You know, now personally, I ain't gonna lie. Nobody ever told me that, but I could just see somebody saying 
telling somebody this, trying to devalue what somebody got going on with the artwork. Oh, that's all right. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's all right. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Or oh, why don't you go play basketball or something? Or oh, why don't you go do this or that? Why you want to sit down and draw all day? That's downplaying. You, you downplaying what they got going on. You know, you minimizing that that value that they got when, they, you know, in drawing. They they find a great sense of worth in drawing, man. That might be a great part of their identity. Now, you're going to strip that away? So, yo, downplaying, hating ass comments? Come on, man. And just them saying, why you want to do such and such for? Or why you want to do this for? Why you want to do that for? Blah, blah, blah. You know, why you, why you think this is so cool? And blah, blah, blah. They downplaying you, man. That's downplaying. That's downplaying all day, every day. So like I said, I I can't stand, you know, just just these downplaying as these low and a lot of times they come in the form of low key slick comments, bro. They sneak them in, they they lace them within these little comments that they make, these microaggression comments. They they want to downplay you. So yeah, so downplaying can can also be when you compare downplaying could be when somebody compares something. Downplaying could be all always comparing that something is better than someone so if somebody try to say they do this and that then the, uh, the, the next person that say uh in, in response to that they'll say oh well you might do this but you don't do it like such and such over here or you might do that but you don't do it like her over here or you know what i'm saying oh that look cool man but i remember this one person when they did it like they try to devalue what you got going on through comparing you know through competition and shit through comparing yours to some something else like, don't do that, man. Nobody asks for you. Nobody asks for you to compare and do all that. Like, okay, if you do it once or twice, okay, whatever, man. I might let that hating slip, that hating shit slide or whatever, man. But when they constantly do it, they're obviously they got an agenda going on. They trying to shut your shit down. Trying to make it seem like your shit ain't as good as the next person's through constant comparing. That's downplaying. That's a form of downplaying as well. So that's all I got for this, man. You know, I gave y'all a good long length duration of a video for y'all can chill sit back and listen to man but um i'm very you know passionate about this topic bro because a lot of the times you know this downplaying shit is like a it's a very slick subtle it's a secret um a silent killer to dreams it's not so out in the open you know but it, it's it's a very slick man people do this behind they do behind closed doors they do it very slick behind the scenes they'll downplay you and before you get a, a greater, you know, to a greater level in what you're trying to do. They're trying to downplay and shut shut that shit down. Don't let them do that, man. Like I said, this is a serious topic, man. Hit the like video. Um, that was my video on downplaying. And anybody that's out there downplaying somebody, nigga, you ain't shit. Bitch, you ain't shit. You ain't shit, bro. And I wish, like I said, I wish somebody would try to downplay me, man. And if you out there being downplayed, bro, get away from the motherfuckers or confront their ass. Don't let nobody downplay you. Don't let the boss downplay your work at the job. Don't let no co-workers downplay your work at the job, the workplace. Don't let your brothers, sisters, siblings, I don't fuck ass whoever downplay your anything. You know what I'm saying? Don't even let your kids downplay what you got going on. You better put that belt to their ass, <laughs> motherfucker. Shit, you better let them know what it is. Don't let nobody, I'm telling you, anybody get down. Don't even let your boyfriend, a girlfriend, husband, husband, or wife downplay you. Don't let them do that, man. Just because they don't share the same amount of interest as you do. They want to try to minimize what you got going on. Don't, don't let people do that shit, bro. But anyway, this your boy interest, man. Hit the fucking like button. Subscribe, man. Share this video to somebody you think might need it. And I'm out.